Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a timeless general love and life reading for Leo. <clears throat> you could have Leo in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Um, Leo, keep in mind that these readings and or cross watcher, these readings are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Um, <clears throat> hold on. Hold on, I'm sorry. Hold on one second. These readings are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. It's not your story. Don't try to make it fit. Everything's subject to a free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. And um, roles can be reversed, okay? If you need or want to get a reading tailored specifically to your energy and or situation, my email is in the description box below. I do offer $10 off for first-time clients who get their first reading with me. If there's an extended uh, to this reading, that will be in the description box below and the comment section below as well. Um, also, <clears throat> this Friday, November 18th, 2022 at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm doing a My Freebie Friday for November. So you have to be a subscriber and you have to be 18 years or older to participate. I have uh, posted it into my community tab. There's some a few other rules there. So definitely go check that out. And I hope that you join. It's a one question per person, little mini read, okay? Um, I'm not going to stay on there as long as I did last time, but I will stay on there for a while, okay? All right, well, let's get started. Let's see. <clears throat> I feel like my neck wants to pop. There, there it goes. All right, what's going on for Leo in love and life? Leo. Danger from a clandestine, clandestine engagement. Two of diamonds or two of pentacles here. Okay. You're being juggled. Boom, right out the gate. What you don't know can hurt you. Mm -hmm. That's what I just heard. Um, you also have unexpected, though generally good news, five of diamonds, five of pentacles here. <clears throat> or it's like what you thought... I feel like money is going to be fine. It's not as much as you wanted. But as far as something being hidden from you, it's not favorable. Okay. I'm going to look at that in a minute. Tell me more for Leo. Disgrace, crime, and imprisonment. Ten of swords. It's like you go to leave somebody out in the cold, right? Or here's the deal. You don't know this yet. But whenever you, it's like you're about to let somebody go. Now, this is not going to be for everybody. Take what resonates, leave the rest. It's like you let somebody go and then you find out after the fact that it was the right decision. Because disgrace is like cheating. Ten of Swords is like betrayal. Two of Pentacles is cheating. It's like juggling. Disgrace, a danger from a clandestine engagement, something that you don't see. This is being done behind your back, but you don't know this, and you let this person go anyways. You still don't know it, and then you find out after the fact that this was going on the whole time behind your back. So you made the right choice. Now this could be something from your past, something currently going on, and so I've been told my readings can tend to be very future predictive. What is this danger from a class on engagement? What is this danger? Okay, sickness. Four of swords here. Someone could be making you sick. I, I'm also not a doctor. Someone could be fucking with your head and making you like mentally ill. Or like, you know, when, when people like gaslight you. You know what I'm saying? It fucks with your head and it can it can fuck with you to the point where you don't even under you don't um you don't accept your own reality i guess is what i'm hearing from spirit this is like mental sick mental health mental illness and i'm not saying you're crazy or anything like that i'm not saying that this person 
is like actively trying to mentally cause mental instability in you. Or, you know, Leo, you could be doing this to the cross watcher. I don't know your life. What is this good news though? But it's like you leave someone out in the cold and then later on, like you break up with someone, you end a relationship, whatever it is, you finally end it with someone. And then you find out after the fact that, that definitely was the fucking right decision because maybe you were questioning it. That they were betraying you the whole time and actively gaslighting you and like mentally abusing you to make you not to make you question your own fucking sanity. Which is so low budget and disgusting when people do that. What is this unexpected good news? A present and good unselfish friend. Five of hearts. With the jack of hearts or like the page of hearts or page of cups. You may want to offer good news to a friend. Maybe you need to tell a friend that maybe, maybe this is also an apology in the, okay. But you've removed that yourself. Yeah, look, two, uh, two of swords, you made the decision to remove yourself from let go of any betrayal, right? Two twos now and two fours and two fives. You could be seeing a lot of repeating numbers. You're confused. Or you may feel, I'm not going to say you're confused. You may feel confused. For some of you, you may feel that way. Or you, maybe you're, maybe it's not confusion. Maybe you, you're second guess. That's what it is. Thank you, spirit. We get there in the end. You're not confused. But you are second guessing yourself. You made the right decision here, Leo. You made the right decision. Whomever you've been dealing with or were dealing with or you're about to let go of, maybe you're currently dealing with this person, they don't mean you well. Mm-mm. No. They betrayed you. They also could be doing some type of crime, illegal shit behind the scene. You don't want to get wrapped up in that's what I just heard. Who knows? Prison with the seven of wands. This person, yeah. With the ace of swords, truth has been spoken. There's death, malice, general misfortune. This person is about to go through some crazy ass shit. And you're going to find out about this. That they are literally, they could be going to prison. I get like money and like embezzlement, fraud, tax evasion. Um, you know, some type of criminal activity. Um, selling like illicit, you know, substances. Like illicit stuff. Okay. They could very well be going to jail. They, they, yeah, they're about to go to jail. And you're finding this out. And it's like, oh my God, I'm so glad that I, I didn't stay in that relationship. I'm so glad that we're not together anymore. I'm so glad that I left that relationship. Even though, I mean, it's like, it's like fucked up news, but it's good news for you. But it's not good news for them. That may not make any sense. But it's not that you're happy that this person is doing all of this shit. Right? You're not happy about that. But you are happy that you're no longer with this individual. Because this person might seriously be going to jail. Look, seriously. We got disgrace, crime, imprisonment. And then we have prison. Then we have death, malice, general misfortune. Right? I feel like they did something at their work. Like they robbed people of money. They scammed people of money. You know, like tax evasion or like fraud, insurance fraud. They've been caught or they're about to be caught. Or maybe they're selling illicit substances. You know, I don't really want to, I don't want to get flagged on YouTube. But you know what I'm saying? Like they're doing some crazy shit. What else? Please what listen to Mm -hmm. You receiving message about this. You could receive a message from somebody. Maybe this person who's in jail. You're receiving communication from this person who's in jail. Or from a family member of theirs who's in that. They're letting you know that this person's been arrested. I 
I just heard that it's this person's karma. For them to be caught. You know, there's people out there who do fucked up shit to, to good people and they never get busted. Right? They get away with it. Not this person. Not them. Mm -mm. Not them. Wow. Okay. Tell me more about this person. You're going to be so happy. Not happy that this has happened to this person, but like happy that you're like not with this person when this happened. You might be called to, okay. You might be called to testify against this individual. I don't know if you're going to do it or not, but you might. You might. Hold on, listen to spirit. I'm sorry. Um, tell me more about this person that might be going to jail. You'll be glad that you were not in this relationship. Yeah, you crossed that bridge. You got away from this person. You got a new beginning here. Maybe you got a new house. This person kept a lot of shit about money from you. Like, they, they, they hid a lot of shit about money. They manipulated a lot of shit. They did. They did something fucked up with money. Mm -hmm. You're receiving some type of communication about it. Oh, my elbow, sorry. Yeah, this person's going to jail. They also could have been selling substances. Look, I have the medicine, the axe, and the scales. They could have been they could have been like on, you know, stuff you have to cut up. You know. Yeah, they hid that. It was very much a secret. That's how they had a lot of money, but that shit's blowing up. That shit's blowing up right up in their face. Wow. Wow. Damn. It's like this person's whole life serves them right. You know, it's like their whole life is imploding. Like, I don't know if it's happening right now, but it kind of feels like it's current. It could be, it could be coming towards them. Hopefully you're not involved in this, but I don't feel like it's you who's done this or is doing this or did this for people and you're getting caught, but I feel like you were somehow connected to them. Like, in, like this is an ex or they're about to be an ex and you get out of this relationship right on time. You see what I'm saying? Right before this person gets caught or you, they're just an ex and you've been broke up with them for quite some time and then you get news about this person on some crazy fuck shit and then that they're now going to jail or looking at some serious jail time for some crazy fuck shit that they were doing. I don't think you knew about this. Let's see. Anything else? Oh yeah, four of wands reverse. This person is not stable. Mm -mm. Yeah, they're 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 seven of pentacles reverse. This person is reaping what they've sown. Wow. Oh yeah, strength card in reverse. That is your card, Leo. The, you know what I mean? Like whatever they did to you, like this is like someone that tried to take your power from you. It's like either either you're just now getting out of a relationship with them or you're about to or you already did and this person took try to take your power from you in some form or fashion but it's they, they took the coward way you know what i'm saying but they've reap what they're reaping what they've sown or they're really fucking about to like they're re yeah seven of oh my god listen seven of swords with the justice like i'm telling you i'm telling you right now this person is about to fucking go to jail they're fucking going to jail. This is not legal advice. Somebody here is trying to lie their way out of it. 
someone's trying to cheat the course or cheat the cops or I don't know. But damn, like this, yeah, this person is not getting any fucking support from nobody. They can't lie the way out of it this time. This person's like about to fucking go to jail, like for us, for a considerable amount of time. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, let's see who you're dealing with. Who is Leo dealing with? Wow. I guess they're not such a smooth criminal after all, huh? Pisces. Capricorn. Okay. Taurus. Gemini. Virgo. Libra. Cancer. Leo. So you could be dealing with another Leo. And for some of you, you know, it could be vice versa. I don't know. They could have Leo in their chart. You could be done with a, you know, a Pisces, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus, Cancer, Gemini. Some in Rising Venus in your chart and or their chart. Also, too, this person could, if it's not them, you know, them going to jail, they're already in jail and their charges keep racking up and they're going to stay there for a very, very long time. They keep doing some crazy shit. Or this person's like seriously about to do hard time. Like they're about to do a very long bid in prison. You're going to be grateful that you're not involved in that shit. So this could be first, middle, last initial um, of your name or this person's name. And also can make words. I don't think this needs an extended. It's pretty much straight to the point. Spirit, does it need an extended? Okay, they said yes. They want more tea. They want to... They Go deeper. Okay. I'm going to do an extended. That'll be in the description box below and in the comment section below. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's see what this is about. Let me sort it out. Like, they really, oh my God. And it's not like, you know, some little, like, misdemeanor kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, they, they did bad, bad things. They've done bad, bad things or doing bad, bad things. And it's, you know, catching up to them. Uh, so the first letter is S. R. D. N. P. T. F R I N Okay Let me get some guidance You're going to be really glad that you're not in that relationship They're going to try to fight it, but I don't think they can. They There's too much evidence to the contrary. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's see. Any guidance, please, for Leo? You don't take jumpers with these. Hold on one second. Here we go. A short sorrow. You will be happiest with peace and quiet right now. So you might feel a little conflicted about the situation. A letter that you will receive, act on it at once. So whatever letter you receive, communication, you're going to need to act on it, okay? And you also have, you are going to move to a new house. Do not give up hope, okay? And you have very good friends. Yes, you do. And you will be very popular. Take advantage of that. Carry through with your plans, whatever those are for you. And you owe someone a letter, write it at once. And you need self-confidence, otherwise you will lose. Take it as it resonates, okay? 
All right, so that has been your reading. The extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. I'm, I don't know why they want to do an extended. It kind of feels kind of straightforward, but okay, we're going to do it. <laughs> All right. Um, I hope to see you there um, in the extended, but also to um, don't forget my freebie Friday this Friday at 730 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel it really means the world to me it doesn't cost you anything. It really supports my dream. I love you guys until next time. Bye.